So today I wanted to jump on here and just do a really short video. There's been a lot going on around here lately. My daughter got married last weekend and then Thursday was Thanksgiving and actually Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I was really, really sick. So I didn't even get to go. We had family Thanksgiving yesterday. I didn't even get to go. We're having another one today. Very large family. And so we have a couple. But before I did, I wanted to jump on here and share a couple of things with you. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry from Rolling Acres Education. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time. I just want to address a couple of things I've seen, answer a couple of questions I've had. I want to do a really short video today. These are things that I've thought about sharing and questions I wanted to answer, but they in of themselves wouldn't take up a whole video. So I thought I would just take this video and handle that. And the first thing I want to say is that I've seen a lot of people pricing their resources at exactly $5. And I just wanted to give you a heads up on this. And you may already know and say, that's okay, I don't mind. But you may not realize that when you price your product for exactly $5, it is not in that under five, uh, $5 filter. So if someone goes on to Teachers Pay Teachers, which a lot of people do, I bet especially now, I know I always did. I always look for free resources first, and then if I didn't find one, then I would click, oh, sorry, then I would click that $5 filter and try to find one there. And so when you do that, if your, pro if your product is over $4.99, it will not show up. So for one penny, which really 80% of a penny, you are missing out on a lot of views. So I just want to say, you know, um, if you have products priced at $5, uh, ask yourself, you know, can I just kind of lower that down to $4.99? If you do that, you're going to get more views. So um, I don't have any products priced from like $5 to I think $5.50 because I figure, you know, if, if they're five, about $5.25 or something like that, I'm either going to add more to them, make them worth a little more, or go ahead and price them below $5. Now, I don't have any individual products above five dollars or really above i think my highest is 395 and most all of my products that are over five dollars are bundles so that works out really well for me and this is a little strategy you might think about if your products your individual products are all under uh, five dollars then all your bundles are kind of going to show up in that under five dollar because when someone goes and clicks on your under five dollar product they're going to see your bundles so i didn't do that intentionally but after i thought about it i thought you know that's not such a bad idea if all my you know if i just make all my individual products under five dollars and everything over five dollars is a bundle then in a way i'm going to show up in that under five dollar search all the time i mean some people even do like smaller products and then bundle to you know a little bit bigger bundle than a bigger bundle and then maybe like a whole year bundle and those little products are going to lead up to those bigger products so that's just something kind of been on my mind i'm like oh i wonder if they knew that if they charged 4.99 for that instead of five dollars they would get a lot more views another question i had was about how many products do i have in my store and do i think that my products sell better because they are high school middle school high school the answer to the first question is like, I think I have 222 products as of right now. And the answer is absolutely yes, 100% yes. I have shared that before. I actually do have lower um, grade levels and they actually have higher conversion rates, but I make a lot more money off of my high school, middle school and high school. And that's because it's not as competitive. There are not as many, especially like holiday resources. There are not a lot of middle school and high school holiday resources. And so, yes, 100%. That is, there's no doubt in my mind that I do sell <clears throat> more, uh, a lot of products because they are middle school and high school. Now, with that said, I mentioned seasonal resources. I just read where someone was sharing that they were a little frustrated because they make really, really seasonal resources. And there's people out there who sell just like regular resources, stick a couple of holiday icons on them, and then list them as seasonal. If you're doing that, I just want you to know that TPT really, really frowns upon that. They do not want you doing that. If you have a holiday resource, it's really supposed to be holiday centered. And then the last question I had was about where do I share my link to my email? Uh, I do not have a blog. Uh, 
I share mine uh, right now down in my YouTube. I'm just starting, uh, just starting to share my uh, lead magnet for selling on TPT. I have a resource linked below that helps you pick out a niche. I really went into a lot of detail how I think you can pick out a niche that maybe you won't have to do as much marketing. So that is linked below. Um, but you can also put them, uh, from what I understand, you're not supposed to share them in your note to followers. There's some debate on that. Um, you could try it. I think they would just tell you not to do it, but I've heard people say that, yeah, you can do it. But then people I really trust have said, no, you probably shouldn't do it. But what you can do is when you uh, do a product, um, promote a product within your note to followers, you can put an upsell page in that product and um, share your email, um, your lead magnet email. So that is one of the easiest ways if you don't have any social media. But if you have a Facebook, personal Facebook page, listen, I've said this over and over again, Teachers Pay Teachers is a series of small wins. Do something here that gets you uh, 10 to 100 views. You do something here that gets you 10 to 100 views. And here, here. And if you just keep doing little things, let's say you, you do something to all of your products that get you 10 views a day on all of those products, then you know that's going to start growing. And as you get more views and you get more sales, you're going to get more views. It's just like a snowball thing. Remember, if you are interested in starting a TPT store and you'd like a little help with um, getting your niche down, then I have a resource linked below. It's free. You will be on my email list, but I have nothing to sell right now. I'm not selling any kind of... I am building a course, but as of right now, all you're going to be getting is uh, our tips and things to be helpful. I will need, not be trying to sell you anything for a while. So just remember, you've got this. God's got you. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.